put this up just shy of the 30. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Purdy looking to throw. They'll get this complete to Charlie Werner. 23 yards to pick up there. It's a gain of 23 yards. First down, 49ers. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Some strong running at the 20, and he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16, first and 10. On first down, Purdy. And he's got it. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Barrios now from his end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 16 yards right off the bat for a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And a pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. Throw caught by Achan. And he's got this down to the 35. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix up on the play call and right establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come out. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Play action, now it's Tua. They'll roll him out right. Got a man and he hits him in stride. A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. A little risky there when you roll out of that pocket right like he did. You complete the pass, but you don't get anything out of it. But how many times have we seen when a quarterback exits out of the pocket, doesn't matter if they go left or right, the defense loses its leverage, right? They, there's a little chaos back there, and, and receivers come open. Great discipline on that play. They didn't let that happen and held it to no gain. Here's second and ten. A handoff running left is Mostert. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. This one left side caught by Barrios. Touchdown! Braxton Barrios from 19 yards away. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Ray Ray McLeod. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, 49ers. Now Moody for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. At their own 21 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well, where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Moster hit, and he drops the ball. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point try now for Moody. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Barrios now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Now a second and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A great job there, Charles, just to hold on, absorb that contact. I guess that's the risk you take catching the ball toward the middle of the field. It is, and if you're going to gain yardage, you're going to have to go there at some point. But how about the read, okay? The eyes of that play, stepping out from the middle of the field and really making a big hit. Did not get free, but boy, that's a tough area to go into when you're going into his spot. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, it's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. Tongue of Iloa going for it on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. 
A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Two and a throw again. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Looking to pass. Tua. Trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. There he goes, right side. They had a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral it down near the 11-yard line. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. You see Purdy, he's going to shift him around. Second and 11. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkel. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him. I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Purdy now to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. And going deep for Hill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Final play of the half, Purdy. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. 
but they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Miami. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way. But you're not counting on it. Exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Jerome Baker crashing downhill and getting the stop. And getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Back to throw, Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. Purdy slow, complete here to Ayu. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Throwing here, Purdy. He'll buy some time right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So many times I advocate not challenging coverage downfield, but on this play, I thought he made an excellent decision to actually do so. If that had been complete, that would have been one for the highlight reel. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. secondary and swap that one away. 
And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Purdy from the gun. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Two is throw complete there to Berrios. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Open net is Waddle complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 in the first. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second down and eight. Two are going to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. NFL quarterbacks work so hard on their mechanics, and they do so much repetition and practice offseason, the whole deal. They expect it to be autopilot once the game start. That way it eliminates any type of pressure of the game, pressure of people in your face, all of that. That didn't shine through on that throw, though, did it? No. What if it a dangerous pass and off target, too? That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of four. And third and eight now. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-one on one's downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those two. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. That is caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And no, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. Let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throw.
throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Purdy. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. So, my goodness, I would have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. They'll run right side with Moster. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Tackle made by Chase Young. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Second down, here's Mostert again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. They'll come up first and 10 here. Purdy to throw. Pass complete, Samuel. And they work this well on field across the 45. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And a little wind to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit. He tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. They'll come up now, second and nine. And now a fake on a jet sweep, and instead they'll give it to McCaffrey. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth.
Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. A short game here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll come up now on second down. Purdy to throw. Boise out loud and completes it to Samuel. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. This is first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Now what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead. So how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me. And he loses the football a second time. <laughs> a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed 